Gary, you mentioned something about motorcycles the other day. What was your issue? Yeah. There? Um, why motorcycles can stand up? Uh, they're, they're transformers. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. So when you say stand up, not after you put up the kickstand, you mean no. it can just roll on its own yeah. without anybody on it. You know, well, a person can plane. stand on the seat while the thing is rolling. Mm -hmm. for example i've seen that yeah right? the display okay. bike teams they're fantastic yeah yeah so i for the longest while and i count myself among those who would give the answer that you have spinning wheels that are basically gyroscopes mm -hmm. and that they gyroscopically stabilize the motorcycle by the way the same would apply to bicycles of course right yes because in fact there's a famous scene in Famous because the people talked about it. I thought it was clear and present, but I didn't realize how many people didn't know that if you set a bicycle moving down a hill That's with nobody right. on it, yep. it'll just keep rolling. It'll keep going like, until it hits long, something. Until it hits something for yep. a long time, longer than you would expect. And that mm. was revealed in the movie Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Yeah, yes. in one of the in one of the romantic scenes with. Robert Redford and Catherine Ross, I think it was. Mm -hmm. um, that's it what was they played. Also, Raindrops. It was also revealed in my driveway as a kid, and <laughs> I got into a hell of a lot of trouble. Cause, boy, do you know how much that bike costs? I cannot believe that you were throwing that bike down. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, that's what you see. You run and you just let the bike go, and then we. Yeah. It's a, then it becomes a ghost bike. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. So, so. That was a common explanation, and I, I've even given that explanation. But I recently read All that right. someone did an experiment where they added wheels that spin the opposite way of the wheels. They're not connected to the ground or anything, but they spin in the opposite direction, uh -huh. which cancels out the physical angular momentum of the, of the rotating wheel. Okay. So the whole system no longer has a net gyroscopic force operating on it. Interesting. And it's, and it's still stayed up. So it it's down. like it's it's rolling down the hill, but then let's say you have like a, a balancing pole with two wheels on it, and then they're spinning in the opposite direction. Like Correct. Just, and they figured yeah. out a way to do this so that then then there's, there's no net gyroscopic stabilizing right. force because it's been canceled out just through the laws of physics. So, but, so it's still maintained its course and so so here's what's going on and it's fascinating it's it's more complicated with a bicycle than in other examples i could give but a system is stable in whatever it's doing if its center of mass is as low as it could be okay, okay. within a range of, of which movement. is the whole deal with motorsport where they're always trying to get the oh, center oh. of mass as low as possible. Yes, and, and electric cars put their batteries on the not on the roof, yes. but no, on, on the as bottom. low as possible right. on the bottom, so that you have the low. Because watch what happened. If the center mass is so low that anything you do to that object raises the center of mass, it doesn't mm. want to do it. It always wants to bring the center of mass as close to the center of the earth as possible. That's why, uh, you guys remember Weebles? Yeah, they wobble, Weebles but they wobble, but they down. don't fall down. All okay. together now, on through. So th there they go. So you push them, and then it writes itself back up. Well, what's yeah. happening? Because in its righted position, the center of mass is as low as it possibly can be. And if you do anything else with a Weeble, you are raising the center of mass. And that's not what the Weeble wants to do relative to Earth. So once you've raised the center of mass, it says, I'm going back to where I was, and the center of mass drops down, it gets closer to the center of the Earth. In that case, only by a few inches, but it'll do it. So it turns out the design of a bicycle where the center of mass of the front section and the back and the chair is that if you set the thing rolling down the hill and it begins to lean... What'll happen is the front wheel will turn right into that lean. Correct okay. Itself. And right itself. Okay. Yeah. So the bike won't necessarily go in a straight line, but if it curves, 
its tendency will be to write itself. So Neil, because, yeah. I'm on I'm on a higher wire on my bike because I'm a bit like that. Okay. Oh, 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 wait, wait. Enormous okay. big okay, wait, wait. pole. Now you want to ride What's a bicycle? Happening? Why, 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 why? You want to ride a bicycle on a high wire? Let's just do yeah. the high wire first, and then right. we can stick you on a bike if you want. Okay, so the high wire, the reason why they carry this big stick that's left and right, okay, mm. it's not to balance them. No. Well, that's not what it's doing. Really? No. Okay. No. Now you've it's got not, me. Okay. Mm. That balance pole is floppy have you noticed that yes it's not a rigid pole chuck i it's... so thought you were going to drop a gag there yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> i was going to say it happens to a lot of high wire walkers but it's okay <laughs> but i'm not going to do that okay. of course not leave no. it alone okay exactly. so it's not a rigid pole because you could say you can use that to balance no because mm. they're not using it to balance they get a floppy pole so that right. the side on the left flops downward and the side on the right flops downward, okay? And the system, the high wire walker plus the pole, has a center of mass now that is so low that if he starts tipping oh. to the left, the center of mass is raised because the pole is out there uh, counterbalancing him, okay? Okay. So, yes, I'll use the word balance in that context, but it's all about the center of mass. If he tips, okay. the center of mass raises, and it wants to lower the center of mass once again. So he can easily, I mean, if you still have the talent to do this, stay on the pole, uh, on the wire, because the pole plus the wire, him on the wire, is the lowest center of mass of the system that you can get. And any, if you don't see him walking with this up over his head, do you? You don't right. see that. Okay, it's always he's holding held, it down yeah, it's, low. It's always held pretty low, right down mm, by the waistline. Yeah, right by yeah. the waistline. So, Gary, now you want to have yeah. the high wire act on a motorcycle. Okay, now bike. So, Let's not go too bad. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so there's probably some kind of groove in the tire for it to stay on the wire. Well, you may take otherwise... the tire off and use the rim. Oh, that would work. Oh, oh for sure, because yeah. the rim is conca concave. Yeah. Right. So that that's an interesting way to make that work, but. Um, if you are up above the wire relative to the tires, you'd want the, the floppy, uh, um, stick. You'd want that to go even wider out to the sides and be even more droopy. And that would give you tremendous stability in doing this exercise. So Gary, I don't know. Did I go where I had to go in that answer for you? I think you did. Yeah. I mean, just thinking about. Would it work then for electric motorbikes? Because there's no engine, and generally the engine is the lower part of the whole thing. Oh, so oh, you mean, oh. How would that then, uh, would that then work in the same way? Because I've seen motorbikes where the, the batteries go up one of the Yeah, I was going to say the, the difference yeah. is that the, 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 the weight of an engine on a bike is pretty evenly distributed so that you, it makes the bike balanced to hmm. ride. So once you just, I mean, have it's the between battery, the rear wheel and the, where your feet go, and where it's not up go. in the not in the front wheel, right? Right, no, that's right. Mm -hmm. So that's normally the way they position engines. But for a battery, you can see it like they sit like right under the front fork sometimes, and then sometimes at the bottom of the bike. So it's interesting. I don't, but I'm. So I don't, I don't, I'd I don't, have to conclude, Gary, that yes. if they're putting batteries up the down the down tube and up mm -hmm. the tubes, yep. then that's changing where the center of mass of the of the system is, and it can only be less stable for that reason. Yes. Yeah. Perfectly. What we need is delivery riders on less stable bikes doing thirty <laughs> odd miles an hour <laughs> down down the street the wrong way with <laughs> our food. Perfect. <laughs> It's because in the city, Uber Eats are people on on motor on motorized bicycles. It's not people in cars. So that, that's all I can tell you on that, Gary. Were you were you, are you oh, good, good to go that. on that? Thank you. Yeah. So just remember, yeah, I'm, I'm, I was fascinated by the balancing pole because that is something I'm thinking. Well, that's for balance, but it's not. It's a different thing altogether. It's a different. I mean, yes, there's some. Yeah, it's for what yes, you said, the center of mass is for center mm. of mass. It's it's to keep the center of mass as low as possible, and in some cases, the center of mass is in fact i think it's in every case the center mass is below the wire 
So that as you tip, the center mass says, I want to get as low, I want, again, I want to get as close to the center of Earth as possible. And that's directly below the wire. And you're Mm -hmm. on top of the wire, so everybody's stable. There it is. Interesting. So it's not as dangerous as they make out, then? (laughs) No! I think most things are not. If you boost the odds in your favor by training, by practice, by physics, Mm -hmm. then anyone else looking at what you do is imagining themselves in that situation and how dangerous it would be for them. They're not imagining you in that that situation, imagining how non-dangerous it otherwise is for those who are trained. Chuck, Gary, that's all the time yes. we have for this explainer. Really? Yeah, and, and Star Talk Sports Edition, we got explainers there too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had curiosity the, as well, Neil. Yeah, the rest of the universe is not the only place where you scratch your head and say, really? Is that how that works? Why? Yeah. Uh, really? Sports is right. Riding a motorcycle on a wire? <laughs> <laughs> right. Really? <laughs> Neil deGrasse Tyson here, your personal astrophysicist. As always, keep looking up. <laughs> <laughs>